Oh, hey. Welcome to the new channel, Hand Laid Tracks and 3D Printed Trains, with your host, Socrates. Channel's pretty much going to be about me building a uh, end scale layout, hand laying some tracks, and doing some 3D printing to make the train cars and buildings and everything else that needs to be made. Uh, real quick about me, uh, like I say, my name is Socrates. I'm a bored stand up comedian here in Amsterdam. Been about a year here in this empty void, and looks like it's going to be a, another year before we're back to normal. So I decided I wanted to do a little something to keep myself busy, maybe a little hobby. I'd always liked doing trains when I was a kid. I had trains, and I've always wanted a train set, but they're kind of large and expensive, and I never had either the space or the money for it. But then I came across this thing called a time saver. It's a shunting puzzle, and it's a very small layout, and it seemed perfect for what I'm looking for. It fits my my budget and my space, and it seemed like a really great project. It's uh, something that was invented uh, in 1972 by uh, John Allen, and he published it in Model Railroader in 72, and it's a nice simple puzzle. Basically, it's one of those missing piece puzzles, so you have to move the pieces around in the gaps, but you do it with model trains, and uh, it should be a lot of fun, and um, hopefully, if you want to watch, you're more than welcome to. Um, we're going to use a couple tools. I'll make videos on them. I'm using the uh, SCARM system, the Simple Computer Aided Railroad Modeler. It's a very nice freeware software that you can use to lay out your track and you can make sure everything fits and your design makes sense and your clearances are all there and it's a workable layout and it has a little simulator within it that you can run trains on it and it's very helpful. I found it very helpful for what I'm doing. And uh, I'm not affiliated with any of these things. I just these are the things I'm using. I find them very useful. Uh, and uh, what I'm going to build is the time saver, as I said. It's this shunting puzzle that John Allen invented. Uh, it's basically five uh, sidings and a runaround in the middle, which allows you to get to the opposite side of the freight car. It basically simulates a, a shunting yard or at the uh, any sort of industrial location where the train ends up. You have to break the train up and put the proper cars in the proper places. And it takes about 15 to 20 minutes to do a puzzle. Generally speaking, you use some form of randomizer to decide what goes where. And then you have to move the trains around the puzzle. And I'm going to add a thing called an Inglenook Y, which is a more of a standard uh, siding, a three-lane a three lane siding. Again, it's another interesting puzzle, and they combine nicely and make sort of a, an out and back. And uh, I'm going to be building the train tracks themselves using fast uh, fast tracks jigs, uh, and you can find them at uh, handlaidtracks.com. Again, I'm just a client, uh, but so far I haven't gotten them yet. When I do get them, there'll be a big unboxing. So at this point, all I have is a bare space behind me, and uh, it'll soon be filled up with, uh, I'm going to move a table over there, put up some shelves, and start building some trains. And I do uh, the 3D printing as well. I use uh, SketchUp. At this point I'm using SketchUp Make, I think 2014, because you can use it offline. I build all the, uh, the uh, objects that are 3D printed in there and uh, export them. And I use, at this point, I'm still using an old uh, RepRap Ormorand hand. It's like a kit printer. It's relatively small, but it's still, so far, has done relatively well. And uh, I'm going to eventually get a bigger printer. And again, we'll do another unboxing when that happens. And other than that, this is the introduction to the uh, journey of me building a time saver. And hopefully learning a bit about trains and sharing some stuff and learning from you guys. And it'll be an interesting adventure. And uh, I feel I should close with some sort of catchphrase, but I don't have one. So woo woo. No, I don't, I don't, I don't have one. Anyway, I'm going to walk over.